Yo, peace and welcome to the official Pips Over Money YouTube channel. It's your homie T Money coming at you with a quick video. Make sure you subscribe because in this video, we're going to talk about the, the number. I was going to say the first, but my mouth was like, so <laughs> we're going to talk about one thing that you should do before you pop open that next trade. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Throw me a like something. Don't just watch the video and not get engaged. Duh. Yeah. So let's just set aside um, having your reason as to why you're getting in the trade. Like that should be obvious. You shouldn't just be popping open trades without knowing why. <laughs> Unless you want to know how to get your money taken. Okay. So let's, we put that aside. Obviously, you know why you're getting in the trade. Okay. The number one thing or the next thing that you should know or the one most important thing that you should ask yourself is where am I getting out? Okay. Before you open the trade, know where you are getting out. How will this help you? Okay. So seven habits of highly successful people. One of the first habits is begin with the end in mind. So Stephen R. Covey talks about how when you die, what do you want people to say about you? What do you want your quote unquote epitaph to be? Or what do you want them to say on your obituary? So if that's a principle of highly successful people, beginning with the end in mind, and then also take it a step further in business, they, um, they, <laughs> they, the elite, they tell you to start with a exit strategy. Okay. What does that mean? That means that if you are starting a business and you think at any point you want to sell that business, you begin the process of an exit strategy before you start the business. I mean, that's saying, okay, well, 10 years, I plan on selling this business. Okay. Well then by 10 years, you got to do what you need to do to make that business more valuable. Okay. That's one. That's like two different ways to drive this point home. The other thing is, um, when you're building a house, I've used this analogy before. When you're building a house, do you start building the house before you have the blueprint? No, you can't. Like, or you can, you could, but why would you, right? So planning your exit, knowing where, one, you're going to get out if, if the trade goes against you, okay? Knowing that this move in this direction will invalidate the bias, Okay, so saying, and I mean, you could use a stop loss, you can use a take profit. I'm not here to say don't use, 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 don't use, use, don't use, 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 don't use, 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 make up a song about it. However, I personally don't use either. I may, 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 <laughs> may occasionally use a take profit. May. That's, that's like one in a blue moon. And I haven't seen any blue moons lately, so I haven't been using take profits. However, the idea, the stop loss idea, the take profit idea, where are you going to get out if the trade doesn't go in your favor, okay? So, and then even to piggyback off that point, when you're looking at where could the trade go against you, understand that you should ask yourself, what is the worst thing that can happen, okay? What is the worst outcome possible? Now you're thinking, okay, T, you be more positive on that shit. Like, why are you telling me to think about what's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, that's that's great. But when you really realize like at the end of your world, you're gonna die, then living seems a little bit easier. You know what I mean? Like everything else in between is a whole lot easier versus being anxious about dying, right? So. Beginning with what is the worst possible outcome sets you up to be more open to the, the benefit, like the positive outcome. If the trade goes in your favor, it's more you're more detached from the result because you've already said, okay, the worst possible outcome is this. That's what I'm not necessarily saying that's what you're focusing on, but that's what you have already convinced yourself that you are comfortable with in a sense. Now, I'm not saying go into the trade saying that you're a lo you're going to lose. And here's the thing. If you mentally set an area, zone, target where you feel like 
if the market goes to that area, then I'm gonna close out. You are still a winner. Hello? Like, did you hear me? I'm gonna be very repetitious about this point because think about it. If you said, <laughs> this might blow your fucking mind, okay? If you said, if the market goes here, let's say you were entering here and you were expecting the market to go here and you said, okay, maybe, okay, maybe I need a, maybe I need an object. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay. <laughs> Stick with me. So let's say you got in here where the Sharpie S is and you said the top of the pin was where uh, your stop loss is, right? And so this is where you enter and you say this part, if it goes here, my bias is wrong, okay? But you're selling it, obviously, because the Sharpie goes down this way, Sharpie. Now, if the market goes here and you close out because you said this will invalidate your trading or your, your plan, your idea, you are right, you are right. So you are still a winner in your mind. Your mind thinks of that as a win, okay? So with that being said, understand when you, before you open your next trade, know where you're gonna get out. And in that same example, if you enter in the sh at the S in the Sharpie and you say you wanna take it down here, know that too, right? Know that too, you gotta know both. Yeah, I'm both, okay? Shout out to American philosophers, Gucci Mane and Drake, cause I'm both with an F. Appreciate you for checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Throw me a thumbs up. All right, peace.